Lesson 1, I like salad. Hi Anna, I recently discovered that I really like salad. That's great, John. Salads can be a healthy and delicious option. Yes, they are. I find them refreshing and light. Absolutely. Salads are packed with nutrients and can be very satisfying. I've been experimenting with different dressings and it adds so much flavor. That's a good idea. Homemade dressings can be healthier and tastier. I also enjoy adding various toppings like grilled chicken or avocado. Those are excellent choices. They enhance the taste and make it more filling. I've noticed that salads are versatile too. You can customize them to your liking. Definitely. You can use different vegetables, fruits, or even grains in your salad. I like to include a mix of greens like lettuce, spinach, and arugula. Mixing different greens adds a variety of textures and flavors. It's fascinating how something as simple as a salad can be so enjoyable. Absolutely, John. It's a great way to incorporate more vegetables into your diet. I think I'll start having salad more often. It's a healthy and satisfying choice. That's a fantastic decision, John. Your body will thank you for it. I'm looking forward to exploring new salad recipes and discovering new flavors. Lesson 2, Beautiful View Anna, I heard there's a beautiful view from the top of the hill. Oh, really? I love breathtaking views. They can be so inspiring. Yes, they are. They often give us a new perspective on things. Absolutely. It's amazing how a simple change in scenery can affect our mood. I think we should plan a hike to the top of the hill and enjoy the view together. That sounds like a fantastic idea, John. Count me in. Great. We can bring a picnic and spend the day surrounded by nature. That sounds lovely. It'll be a perfect opportunity to relax and unwind. I agree. It's important to take breaks and appreciate the beauty around us. Absolutely. Nature has a way of rejuvenating our spirits. We can also take some stunning photographs to capture the view forever. That's a wonderful suggestion. A photograph can be a lasting memory. I'm excited about this adventure. It'll be a great way to spend quality time together. I couldn't agree more, John. I'm looking forward to it. Let's make a plan and set a date for our hilltop adventure. Lesson 3, see you on Saturday. Anna, I was thinking of organizing a small gathering at my place on Saturday. That sounds like a fantastic idea, John. I would love to join. Great! It'll be a casual get-together with some friends and good food. Count me in. 
I'll bring a dish to share with everyone. That would be wonderful, Anna. Your cooking is always a hit. Thank you, John. I'll make sure to prepare something delicious. It'll be a great opportunity for everyone to socialize and have a good time. Absolutely. Spending time with friends is always enjoyable. We can have some music playing in the background to set the mood. That's a good idea. Music adds a lively atmosphere to any gathering. I'll make sure to have some games and activities planned to keep everyone entertained. That sounds like fun. It'll make the gathering even more memorable. Let's confirm the time and send out the invitations to our friends. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to Saturday. See you then. See you on Saturday, Anna. Thanks for agreeing to join the gathering. Lesson 4, Learn New Processes Anna, I've been struggling to adapt to the new processes at work. Change can be challenging, John. It's normal to feel overwhelmed. Yes, it is. But I want to learn and improve. Any advice on how to cope with it? Take it one step at a time, John. Break the process down into smaller tasks. That's a good approach. It'll make it feel less overwhelming. Additionally, ask for help or clarification when needed. Don't hesitate to seek guidance. You're right. It's important to reach out and learn from others who are more experienced. Absolutely. Learning from others' experiences can make the process easier. I'll also try to stay positive and believe in my ability to adapt and learn. That's a great mindset, John. Positive thinking goes a long way. I'll make sure to practice and reinforce the new processes regularly. Excellent idea. Repetition helps in building familiarity and confidence. I appreciate your advice, Anna. I feel more motivated to tackle the challenges now. You're welcome, John. Remember, you're capable of adapting and mastering new processes. Thank you for your encouragement, Anna. I'll do my best. I have no doubt that you'll succeed, John. Keep up the great work. I will. Thanks again, Anna. Your support means a lot to me. Lesson 5. I love making homemade pizza. Anna, I have a confession to make. I love making homemade pizza. It's so much fun. That's wonderful, John. Making your own pizza can be a creative and enjoyable experience. Absolutely. I get to choose the toppings and experiment with different flavors. It's like having a personalized pizza tailored to your taste buds. Exactly. Plus, the aroma of freshly baked pizza fills the entire kitchen. It must be a delight for all the senses, John. 
And the best part is sharing the pizza with family and friends. Food has a way of bringing people together, especially when it's made with love. That's true. It creates a sense of connection and joy. Do you have a favorite pizza topping combination, John? I like a classic margarita with fresh basil and mozzarella. That's a timeless choice. Simple yet delicious. What about you, Anna? Any favorite toppings? I enjoy a veggie-loaded pizza with bell peppers, mushrooms, and olives. That sounds delicious. I'll have to try that combination next time. Feel free to experiment and find your own signature pizza creation, John. I will, Anna. Making homemade pizza is a delightful experience for me. I'm glad you found something you enjoy, John. Keep up the pizza-making adventures. Thank you, Anna. I definitely will. And maybe one day, I'll even open my own pizzeria. Lesson 6, Hardware Store Visit I suggest we check out the local hardware store first. That sounds like a good idea. We might find some useful tools there. Absolutely. I've heard they have a wide selection of hardware items. It would be great to explore and see what they have to offer. I agree. We could find things like screws, nails, and other supplies. And maybe we can also find some gardening tools for my backyard. That's a good point. They might have shovels, rakes, and watering cans. I'm also looking for some paintbrushes. Do you think they'll have those? Most likely. Hardware stores usually have a variety of painting supplies. Perfect. I can pick up some brushes and paint for my DIY project. That's a great plan. We can also ask the staff for any recommendations. Yes, their expertise can help us choose the right tools and materials. And if we can't find something, they might be able to order it for us. That's true. They can provide us with information on special orders. Excellent. Let's make a list of what we need before we go there. Good idea. It will help us stay focused and not forget anything. Once we have the list, we can head to the hardware store together. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited to see what we can find there. Me too. It's always interesting to explore different stores for supplies. Lesson 7. Traveling broadens horizons. I can only imagine traveling really broadens our horizons, doesn't it? Absolutely. It exposes us to new cultures, languages, and experiences. That's true. We learn so much by immersing ourselves in different environments. When we travel, we get to try new foods and learn about local customs. It's fascinating how each place has its own unique traditions and cuisines. 
and meeting people from different backgrounds expands our perspectives. Yes, we gain a deeper understanding of the world and its diversity. Plus, we can improve our language skills by interacting with locals. Speaking with native speakers helps us practice and learn new phrases. It's a great way to enhance our language abilities and build confidence. And let's not forget the beautiful landscapes and landmarks we get to see. Absolutely. Visiting famous sites and natural wonders is truly awe-inspiring. Traveling also teaches us important life skills like adaptability and resilience. Yes, we learn to navigate unfamiliar places and handle unexpected challenges. Overall, traveling is an enriching experience that broadens our horizons. Lesson 8, Exploring Flavors and Cuisines Flavors and cuisines, that's great. It opens up so many possibilities. Indeed. Trying different dishes allows us to discover new tastes. We can explore various cuisines like Italian, Chinese, or Mexican. Each cuisine has its own unique flavors and cooking techniques. It's fascinating to see how ingredients come together to create delicious meals. And we can even experiment with recipes and add our own twist. That's true. Cooking is an art, and we can express our creativity in the kitchen. We can also learn about the cultural significance behind certain dishes. Food often reflects the history and traditions of a particular region. Absolutely. It's a way to connect with different cultures through our taste buds. Plus, trying new flavors can expand our palate and make us more adventurous eaters. It's exciting to step out of our comfort zone and discover new favorites. And if we enjoy cooking, we can learn to prepare dishes from around the world. That's a wonderful idea. We can learn techniques and recipes from different countries. Exploring flavors and cuisines is an endless journey of culinary delights. Lesson 9, Visiting Multiple Cities Either take a train or rent a car. I'm thinking of visiting multiple cities. That sounds like an exciting travel plan. You'll get to see so much. Yes, visiting multiple cities allows us to experience different atmospheres. We can explore the unique attractions and landmarks in each place. And we get to learn about the history and culture of different regions. It's interesting to compare the architecture and lifestyle of various cities. Absolutely. Every city has its own character and charm. Plus, we can try different regional dishes and local specialties. That's one of Phoebe's parts. Each city has its own culinary delights to offer. And traveling between cities gives us a chance to see the countryside. It's a great opportunity to appreciate the natural beauty of the areas we pass through. We can also meet new people and make connections along the way. That's true. 
Traveling between cities allows us to interact with locals. And we can learn about their traditions and way of life. It's a wonderful way to immerse ourselves in the local culture. So, which cities are you planning to visit? I'm thinking of starting with Paris, then heading to Rome and Barcelona. Those are all amazing cities with rich history and vibrant cultures. I'm excited to explore each one and make the most of my trip. Make sure to plan your itinerary and allocate enough time for each city. Definitely. I want to make sure I have enough time to fully experience each place. Have a fantastic trip and enjoy your journey through multiple cities. Thank you. I'll be sure to share my experiences when I get back. Lesson 10, be back soon. All right, I'll be back soon. There's something I need to take care of. No problem. Take your time and let me know if you need any help. Thank you. I appreciate your understanding. Is there anything specific you need to do? I just have to run a quick errand and then I'll be back. Okay, I'll be here when you return. Great. I'll try to be as quick as possible. Take your time. I'll keep myself occupied while you're away. I appreciate your patience. I'll see you soon. Looking forward to your return. Have a productive outing. Thank you. I'll be back before you know it. Take care and see you soon, John. Goodbye for now. I'll be back in no time. Lesson 11, Disruptive Noise. It's disruptive. Indeed, it's hard to relax with all the noise. I understand. Sometimes it's challenging to find peace in a noisy environment. I'll make sure you have a peaceful place to study. I'll look for a quiet spot. That would be great. I appreciate your effort to create a calm atmosphere. Noise-canceling headphones might help. They can block out the surrounding sounds. That's a good suggestion. I'll consider getting a pair to help me focus better. Another option is to find a library or a quiet cafe where you can study. Yes, those places usually have a peaceful ambience, perfect for studying. Also, try using a white noise machine or playing soft instrumental music. I'll give it a try. It might help create a more soothing environment. Remember to take breaks and practice relaxation techniques to reduce stress. That's important. I'll make sure to incorporate those into my study routine. Good idea. Being able to relax and concentrate will improve your learning experience. Thank you for your advice. I'll do my best to create a peaceful study environment. You're welcome. I'm here to support your English learning journey. 
Lesson 12, Unique Souvenirs. Hey, have you found any unique souvenirs for your trip? Yes, I've been exploring local markets and shops to find something special. That's exciting. What kind of souvenirs have you come across? I found handmade crafts, traditional clothing, and locally produced artwork. That sounds wonderful. Are there any specific items that caught your attention? I found a beautiful handcrafted necklace made by a local artisan. Excellent choice. Handmade jewelry is often unique and has cultural significance. I also found a small painting that depicts a famous landmark of the city. That's fantastic. It will be a great memento of your trip. I'm glad I could find something meaningful to remember this experience. Souvenirs are a great way to preserve memories and share your travel stories. Absolutely. They can also be conversation starters when I show them to friends. It's always fascinating to learn about different cultures through their crafts. Yes, it's a beautiful way to appreciate the local artistry and traditions. I'm glad you're enjoying your search for unique souvenirs. It adds to the richness of your travel experience. Lesson 13, Bus Transfers It takes around 20 minutes on average. Do you have to transfer buses during your commute? Yes, I do. I have to change buses at the city center to reach my destination. I see. Is it a straightforward transfer or do you have to wait long for the next bus? Fortunately, the wait time is usually short, about 5 to 10 minutes. That's not bad. It gives you enough time to get off one bus and catch the next. Yes, as long as I plan my journey properly and allow some buffer time. Have you ever missed a connecting bus due to delays or traffic? Thankfully, it hasn't happened yet. I try to account for potential delays. It's always a good idea to have some extra time in case of unexpected circumstances. I agree. It helps reduce stress and ensures a smoother commute. If you're uncertain about the transfer point, you can ask the bus driver for assistance. That's a good tip. I'll make sure to clarify any doubts with the driver. Overall, bus transfers are manageable as long as you plan ahead and stay aware of your surroundings. Lesson 14, Making Reservations For both of us, I hope so. Do we need to make an appointment for dinner tonight? Yes, it's a popular restaurant, so it's better to make a reservation in advance. All right, I'll take care of it. What time should I book the table for? Let's aim for 7.30 p.m. That way, we'll have enough time to get there. Sure, I'll call and secure a reservation for 2 at 7.30 p.m. Thank you for taking care of it. I appreciate your help. No problem at all. I want to make sure everything goes smoothly for our dinner. 
It's thoughtful of you. I'm looking forward to trying their delicious food. Me too. I've heard great reviews about their cuisine. I'm glad we're going to experience it together. It will be a memorable evening. Indeed, I'm sure it will be a fantastic dining experience. Lesson 15, exciting time for tech enthusiasts. Me too. It's an exciting time to be a tech enthusiast. Absolutely. There are so many innovative developments happening. New technologies are constantly emerging, transforming various industries. It's incredible how advancements in technology shape our daily lives. From smartphones to artificial intelligence, the possibilities are endless. And with the rise of the Internet of Things, our devices are becoming more interconnected. It's fascinating how technology continues to evolve and improve. It opens up new opportunities and brings convenience to our fingertips. It's crucial to stay updated and keep learning about these advancements. Yes, continuous learning helps us adapt to the ever-changing tech landscape. Plus, it's exciting to explore new gadgets and see how they enhance our lives. Absolutely. It's like being part of a tech-driven revolution. As tech enthusiasts, we can embrace the future and be at the forefront of innovation. It's a thrilling journey, and I'm glad we can share our enthusiasm for technology. Me too. Let's continue to learn, explore, and embrace the exciting world of tech. Lesson 16, Nutty Mix For nuts, I like to get a mix of cashews, almonds, and pistachios. That sounds delicious. Nuts are a great source of protein and healthy fats. Absolutely. They make for a satisfying and nutritious snack. I usually keep a jar of mixed nuts at my desk for a quick energy boost during the day. That's a smart idea. It's important to have healthy snacks readily available. Plus, nuts are so versatile. You can add them to salads, oatmeal, or even use them in baking. That's true. They add a nice crunch and flavor to various dishes. Do you have a favorite nut? It's hard to pick just one, but I really enjoy the creamy taste of cashews. Cashews are great. I personally love the slightly salty and savory flavor of roasted almonds. Roasted almonds are delicious too. And pistachios are fun to eat with their shells. Definitely. It's like a little interactive snack experience. I couldn't agree more. Mixing these three nuts together creates a perfect balance of flavors and textures. I'll have to try making my own nut mix sometime. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. It's a simple way to have a healthy snack on hand. Enjoy! Lesson 17, Late Night Snacks That's a great choice. Enjoy your stay in the late night snacks. Thank you. 
I always like to have something to munch on while watching a movie or reading. It's a nice way to unwind and indulge a little before bed. Definitely. Do you have any favorite late night snacks? I'm a fan of popcorn. It's light, crunchy, and there are so many flavors to choose from. Popcorn is a classic choice. I like to sprinkle some nutritional yeast on mine for a cheesy flavor. That sounds interesting. I'll have to give it a try. Anything else you enjoy? Sometimes, I'll have a small bowl of Greek yogurt with a drizzle of honey and some fresh berries. That sounds like a refreshing and healthy option. It is. The yogurt provides protein, and the honey and berries add a touch of sweetness. I'll keep that in mind. It's important to choose snacks that are satisfying but not too heavy. Absolutely. You don't want to disturb your sleep with a heavy meal before bed. Agreed. It's all about finding the right balance. Enjoy your late night snacks. Lesson 18, Pasta Making. Just a pasta maker if you have one. Otherwise, we can improvise with a rolling pin. A pasta maker would definitely make the process easier and more efficient. Yes, it helps to create thin and consistent pasta sheets. I don't have a pasta maker, but I do have a rolling pin. We can still make pasta from scratch. That works too. It may require a bit more effort, but it's definitely doable. I've seen people use a rolling pin to roll out the dough until it's thin enough for cutting. That's correct. It might take some practice to get the thickness just right, but it's a fun and rewarding process. I'm excited to give it a try. Homemade pasta always tastes so much better than store-bought. Absolutely. The freshness and quality of homemade pasta are hard to beat. Do you have a favorite pasta shape? I really enjoy making fettuccine. Its wide and flat shape is perfect for rich and creamy sauces. Fettuccine is delicious. I like making spaghetti because it pairs well with a variety of sauces. Spaghetti is a classic choice. It's versatile and easy to cook. Well, even without a pasta maker, we can still have a great time making homemade pasta. Definitely. It's all about enjoying the process and the end result. Let's get creative in the kitchen. Lesson 19, Asking for Directions. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the? Sure, I'd be happy to help. Where are you trying to go? I'm looking for the nearest post office. Can you point me in the right direction? Of course. You'll want to head straight down this street for about three blocks. And then? At the third intersection, you'll make a left turn. Got it. And after the left turn? You'll continue for another two blocks until you see a large blue building on your right. 
That should be the post office? Yes, that's correct. The post office is in the blue building. You can't miss it. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. Lesson 20, Prioritizing Well-Being You're right. I need to prioritize my own well-being as well. Absolutely. Taking care of yourself is essential for your overall health and happiness. Sometimes I feel guilty for putting myself first, but I realize it's necessary. It's not selfish to prioritize your well-being. In fact, it's necessary to recharge and be at your best for others. That's true. I need to remember that taking care of myself allows me to be more present and supportive for those around me. Exactly. When you neglect your own needs, it can lead to burnout and decreased productivity. I've experienced that before, and it's not a pleasant state to be in. It's important to establish boundaries and set aside time for self-care activities. What are some self-care activities that you find helpful? I enjoy reading, practicing yoga, and spending time in nature. They help me relax and rejuvenate. Those sound like great activities. I'll try incorporating them into my routine. Remember, self-care looks different for everyone. Find what works best for you and make it a priority. Thank you for the reminder. I'll make an effort to take better care of myself. Lesson 21, Finding Time for English Learning Learning English has been quite challenging lately. I understand. It can be difficult to find time for language learning. Yes, with work and other responsibilities, I'm also worried about not having enough time for it. Don't worry, John. You can start with small steps. Even a few minutes each day can make a difference. That's a good point. I should prioritize my time better. Exactly. Finding time for English learning is about making it a priority. I agree. I need to set aside dedicated time each day. You can try incorporating English learning into your daily routine. For example, during your commute or lunch breaks. That's a great idea. I can utilize those pockets of time effectively. Absolutely. It's all about making the most of the time you have available. I will start scheduling specific time slots for English learning. That's a proactive approach, John. It will help you stay consistent. Thank you for the advice, Anna. I feel more motivated now. You're welcome, John. Remember, taking small steps consistently will lead to progress. I will keep that in mind. I appreciate your support. Supporting each other's language learning goals is important. We can motivate each other. Definitely. We should stay in touch and encourage one another along the way. I completely agree, John. 
Together, we can achieve our language learning goals. Thank you, Anna. I'm grateful to have a language learning partner like you. The feeling is mutual, John. Let's keep pushing forward and improving our English skills. Absolutely. Together, we can accomplish great things in our language learning journey. Lesson 22, Adding Flavor to Our Dishes Our dishes could use some extra flavor. Yes, we should get some soy sauce and spices to enhance the taste. That's a good idea. It will make our meals more enjoyable. Absolutely. Adding different flavors can make a significant difference in the overall taste. I agree. It's time to explore new seasonings and sauces. We can try experimenting with different cuisines and flavors from around the world. That sounds exciting. It will be a culinary adventure. Indeed. We can try incorporating new ingredients and techniques into our cooking. I'm looking forward to trying out new recipes. It will be a delightful way to expand our culinary skills. We should make a list of ingredients and spices we want to try. Excellent idea. Let's create a shopping list and explore the local markets. That way, we can have a variety of flavors at hand when preparing our meals. Agreed. It's time to add some excitement and taste to our cooking. I can't wait to see how these new flavors transform our dishes. Lesson 23, Supporting Each Other's Future Endeavors Hey, I've been trying to get back into my hobbies lately. That's wonderful, John. Pursuing hobbies can bring joy and fulfillment. Yes, it's important to have interests outside of work. Absolutely. Hobbies provide an outlet for creativity and relaxation. I'm glad you understand. Sometimes I feel guilty for taking time for myself. Don't feel guilty, John. Self-care and personal growth are essential. You're right. We should support each other's future endeavors. Definitely. Encouraging one another in our pursuits is important for personal development. I appreciate your support, Anna. It motivates me to keep going. You're welcome, John. Together, we can achieve our goals and dreams. I'm excited to see where our passions take us. It will be a rewarding journey, full of growth and fulfillment. Let's stay connected and share our progress along the way. Absolutely. We can provide guidance and inspiration to each other. I'm grateful to have someone like you who understands and supports my aspirations. Lesson 24, Rekindling the Hobby Flame I've been thinking about getting back into my hobby. That's great, John. Hobbies can bring a lot of joy and relaxation. Yes, it's been a while, and I miss the fulfillment it used to bring me. 
it's never too late to reignite your passion for your hobby. You're right. I just need to make time for it and prioritize it. Absolutely. Set aside dedicated time each week to indulge in your hobby. I should create a schedule and stick to it. That's a good approach. Consistency is key to rekindling your hobby flame. I'll start by gathering the necessary materials and equipment. That's a proactive step. Having everything ready will make it easier to dive back in. I'm excited to rediscover the joy and satisfaction my hobby brings. It will be a fulfilling journey, John. Enjoy the process and let your creativity flow. Thank you for the encouragement, Anna. Having your support means a lot. You're welcome, John. I'm here to cheer you on as you reconnect with your hobby. I appreciate it, Anna. Let's continue to inspire and motivate each other in our pursuits. Lesson 25, Backpacking Through Europe Backpacking through Europe has been on my bucket list for a while. That sounds like an amazing adventure, John. It's a popular travel goal for many. Absolutely. The idea of exploring different cultures and landmarks excites me. It's a wonderful opportunity to immerse yourself in new experiences and broaden your horizons. I've been researching different countries and planning potential routes. That's a proactive approach, John. It's essential to plan ahead for such a big trip. Yes, I want to make the most of my time and see as much as possible. It's important to strike a balance between planned activities and leaving room for spontaneity. I agree. I want to have a flexible itinerary to accommodate unexpected adventures. That's a great mindset to have. Some of the best travel memories come from unexpected moments. I can't wait to try different cuisines, meet new people, and soak in the rich history of Europe. It will be a journey of a lifetime, John. The memories you make will stay with you forever. I'm excited to embark on this backpacking adventure and create unforgettable experiences. Cherish every moment, John. Enjoy the beauty and diversity that Europe has to offer. Thank you, Anna. Your enthusiasm and support mean a lot to me. Lesson 26, Research and Making Plans I think it's time we start researching and making some concrete plans. That sounds like a plan. I'm really excited. We should gather information from reliable sources first. Absolutely. We need accurate and trustworthy data. Once we have the information, we can create a detailed outline. That will help us stay organized and focused. We can then divide the tasks and set deadlines. That way, we'll ensure timely progress. It's essential to have a clear goal in mind. Yes, a well-defined objective will guide our efforts. 
we should also allocate resources efficiently. Agreed. We need to make the most of what we have. Regular check-ins and progress updates will keep us on track. Communication is key for successful collaboration. We can adjust our plans as needed based on new information. Flexibility is crucial for adapting to changing circumstances. Let's make sure to document our research findings. That way, we'll have a record of our work and references. By following these steps, we'll be well prepared to move forward. I'm confident that our efforts will yield positive results. Let's get started right away. Time is of the essence. Lesson 27, Landscapes and Enjoyment. Have you ever explored landscapes? It sounds interesting. Yes, I find landscapes fascinating. Do you enjoy it too? Absolutely. I love immersing myself in the beauty of nature. It's a great way to relax and appreciate the world around us. Different landscapes offer unique experiences. That's true. Mountains, beaches, and forests each have their charm. I enjoy hiking in the mountains and taking in the breathtaking views. I prefer spending time at the beach, feeling the sand between my toes. Forests have a calming effect on me. I love the tranquility. Exploring landscapes also provides opportunities for photography. Yes, capturing the beauty of nature through photography is rewarding. It's amazing how landscapes can evoke different emotions in us. Indeed, they have a way of connecting us with the natural world. I think it's important to preserve and protect these landscapes. Absolutely. We should be responsible stewards of our environment. Exploring landscapes allows us to appreciate the wonders of our planet. It's a reminder of how diverse and magnificent our world is. I'm always excited to plan my next adventure in nature's landscapes. Me too. There's always something new to discover and enjoy. Lesson 28, Energy Throughout the Day I can use some more energy throughout the day. What about your work routine? I try to maintain a consistent work routine to stay energized. That's a good approach. How do you structure your day? I start by prioritizing my tasks and creating a to-do list. I find that organizing my tasks helps me stay focused as well. I also make sure to take short breaks between tasks. Breaks are important for recharging and avoiding burnout. During my breaks, I stretch, walk around, or do some deep breathing. Physical activity can help boost energy levels. I also make sure to stay hydrated and have healthy snacks. Proper nutrition plays a significant role in maintaining energy. 
and getting enough sleep is essential too. I agree. A good night's sleep sets the foundation for a productive day. Throughout the day, I try to maintain a positive mindset. A positive attitude can make a big difference in energy levels. Lastly, I listen to energizing music to stay motivated. Music can be a great source of inspiration and energy. By incorporating these habits, I manage to sustain my energy levels. I'll definitely try implementing some of these strategies in my routine. Lesson 29, Checking Flight Status Online I need to check my flight status. Can I go to the airline's website? Yes, you can go to the airline's website for flight information. Is it easy to find the flight status section on their website? Usually, it's located under the Manage Booking or Flight Status tab. That makes sense. I'll look for those options. Once you find the section, enter your flight details or booking reference. Will the website provide real-time updates on the flight status? Yes, the website should display the departure and arrival times. What if there are delays or cancellations? The website will usually indicate any changes or provide instructions on what to do next. That's convenient. I won't have to rely on phone calls or waiting at the airport. Exactly. Checking online is a quick and efficient way to stay informed. I'm glad I can easily access the information I need. It's always a good idea to double-check the flight status before heading to the airport. I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for the advice. Lesson 30, Number of Bags for Travel I'm packing for my trip. How many bags do you have? It depends on the airline's baggage policy. What's the limit for your flight? The airline allows one carry-on bag and one checked bag. That's typical for most airlines. Have you considered packing light? I'll try my best. It's challenging to decide what to bring. Prioritize essentials and versatile clothing items that can be mixed and matched. That's a good tip. I'll focus on versatile pieces to save space. Consider using packing cubes or compression bags to maximize the space in your bag. I've heard about those. They seem helpful for organization and saving space. They definitely are. And don't forget to weigh your bags before leaving for the airport. I'll make sure they're within the weight limits to avoid extra fees. It's always better to be prepared and avoid any surprises. I agree. I don't want any last-minute complications at the airport. With careful planning, you'll be able to pack efficiently and travel stress-free. Thank you for the advice. I'll keep that in mind while packing. Lesson 31, Education and Spreading Knowledge 
Education is crucial for personal growth and development. Absolutely. It broadens our horizons and opens doors to new opportunities. Education empowers individuals and benefits society as a whole. True. It equips people with the skills and knowledge to make positive contributions. Spreading knowledge can create a ripple effect of positive change. That's why it's vital to make education accessible to all, regardless of their background. Everyone should have equal opportunities to learn and grow. Education fosters critical thinking and problem-solving skills. It encourages creativity and innovation in various fields. Education also promotes cultural understanding and tolerance. By investing in education, we invest in the future of our society. It's a lifelong journey we should embrace at all ages. Education empowers individuals to make informed decisions and be active participants in society. Lesson 32, Wide Range of Products It would be great if they had a wide range of products too. Absolutely. More options give customers the freedom to choose what suits them best. A diverse product range caters to different preferences and needs. It also allows businesses to reach a broader customer base. Offering a variety of products can enhance customer satisfaction. It gives customers a sense of variety and personalization. A wide range of products can also drive healthy competition among businesses. Competition often leads to improvements in quality and innovation. Moreover, it promotes market growth and economic development. Businesses should strive to meet the diverse demands of their customers. Providing a comprehensive product range shows a commitment to customer satisfaction. Lesson 33, Meeting Halfway Let's meet halfway at 52.5% to 47.5%. That sounds like a fair compromise to ensure both sides are satisfied. Meeting halfway allows us to find a middle ground and move forward. It shows a willingness to listen and consider different perspectives. Compromise is essential in maintaining healthy relationships and resolving conflicts. It helps create a win-win situation where both parties benefit. Finding common ground fosters collaboration and understanding. It's important to seek solutions that accommodate everyone's needs. Meeting halfway promotes harmony and cooperation. Lesson 34, Favorite Ingredient. By the way, do you have a favorite ingredient? That's a tough question. I enjoy cooking with various ingredients. It's always exciting to experiment with different flavors and textures. I agree. Trying new ingredients can add depth and complexity to dishes. Discovering unique combinations can create delightful culinary experiences. I love exploring the versatility of ingredients and creating diverse recipes. 
It's fascinating how a single ingredient can transform a dish. Absolutely. Each ingredient has its distinct characteristics and enhances flavors in its own way. Cooking with a wide range of ingredients keeps things interesting and offers endless possibilities. Lesson 35, Prioritizing Real Life I'm with you on that. From now on, no more mobile addiction. Let's prioritize real-life interactions. Absolutely. It's important to disconnect from our devices and engage with the world around us. Building meaningful connections and spending quality time with others is invaluable. Let's focus on face-to-face -face conversations and create memorable experiences. Real-life interactions foster deeper connections and genuine understanding. It's important to be present in the moment and appreciate the people around us. By reducing our dependence on mobile devices, we can cultivate stronger relationships. Lesson 36, Fitness App Do you use a fitness app to monitor your workouts, calorie intake, and weight? Yes, I find it helpful to track my progress and stay motivated. It's a convenient way to stay on top of your fitness goals. Absolutely. It provides valuable insights and helps me make healthier choices. I like how it keeps me accountable and encourages me to stay active. It's a great tool for maintaining a balanced and healthy lifestyle. I also appreciate the features that allow me to connect with others and share my achievements. It's inspiring to see the progress of friends and find new workout ideas. Using a fitness app has definitely made a positive impact on my overall well-being. I couldn't agree more. It's a valuable resource for anyone striving for a healthier lifestyle. I'm glad we both see the benefits of using a fitness app. Lesson 37, Recommended Trails Have you come across any recommended trails for hiking recently? Yes, I found a website that suggests some beautiful trails in our area. That sounds great. We should check it out and plan a hiking trip. I agree. Exploring nature and enjoying the outdoors is rejuvenating. It's always refreshing to connect with nature and disconnect from our daily routines. While you do that, I'll look for nearby camping spots or lodges. That's a good idea. It would be nice to spend a night amidst the beauty of nature. I'll also print out the maps and trail information for our reference. Perfect. Having a physical copy will come in handy during the hike. Let's make sure to pack everything we need for a safe and enjoyable adventure. I'm excited to embark on this hiking trip and experience the beauty of nature firsthand. Lesson 38, Departure in 2 Hours Is the train scheduled to depart in two hours? Yes, we still have plenty of time to make our way to the station. That's good to know. We can take our time getting ready and double-check everything. 
it's always better to be early and avoid rushing at the last minute. Absolutely. I don't want to miss the train due to any unforeseen delays. Let's ensure we have all the necessary tickets and travel documents ready. I'll make sure our luggage is packed and securely locked. While you handle that, I'll prepare some snacks for the journey. That's thoughtful of you. It's always nice to have something to munch on during the trip. Let's also keep an eye on the weather forecast to dress appropriately. Good idea. We should be prepared for any changes in weather conditions. Lesson 39, Diverse Skills for Success Do you think gaining diverse skills will make me successful in the end? Absolutely. Diverse skills open up a world of opportunities and make you adaptable. It's reassuring to know that my efforts to learn different things will pay off. Having a varied skill set allows you to tackle challenges from different angles. That makes sense. It gives me a broader perspective and problem-solving capabilities. Employers often value individuals with diverse skills as they bring unique insights to the table. I'll continue to expand my knowledge and develop new skills in different areas. That's a wise approach. It will set you apart and enhance your career prospects. I'm motivated to keep learning and growing to achieve long-term success. Lesson 40, Favorite Genres Do you have any favorite genres when it comes to books, movies, or music? Same here. It's a great way to relax and unwind. Absolutely. I enjoy exploring different genres and discovering new stories. It's fascinating how each genre offers a unique experience and evokes different emotions. I like how books can transport us to different worlds and expand our imagination. Movies, on the other hand, bring stories to life through visual and auditory elements. And music has a way of touching our souls and evoking powerful emotions. It's wonderful how different genres cater to diverse tastes and preferences. I'm always open to trying new genres and broadening my horizons.